Smith is a weld inspector at a shipyard. He knows from keeping track of good and substandard welds that for the afternoon shift, 5% of all welds done will be substandard. If Smith checks uh, 300 of the 7,500 welds completed that shift, what is the probability that he will find between 10 and 20 substandard welds? So let's extract the information first. So he knew that the 5% of the welds would be substandard. So that's a P, right? So probability or proportion of substandard welds 5%, so which is equal to 0 0.05. And then he is checking 300 of those welds. So out of 7,500, so we would say that lowercase n are sample size that he picks is 300 and the total welds done are 7500 so that's the population side size uppercase n so 7500 and uh, we have to find the probability that he will find between 10 and 20 substandard welds 10 and 20 out of the 300 which, which he would check so basically we have to find this probability that the proportion p hat is between 10 out of this 300 welds that he would check and then 20 out of 300 so between 10 and 20 out of 300 welds so this is we have to find so in order to answer this question so first we have to find the sampling distribution for the proportion that uh, mu p hat and sigma p hat so we know that mu p hat that is equal to p and in this case that is 0 0.05 and then sigma p hat so that is a square root of uh, p times 1 minus p by n so just plug in this one so that is square root of uh, 0 0.05 so 1 minus 0 0.05 and divide by n so n here is 300 and in this case so this sigma p hat so this would turn out to be uh, 0.01258 so next thing we have to check that is this sampling distribution approximately normal or not? So in order for this model to work, the first thing we have to check is that this sample size is less or equal to 5% of the population size. So in this case, we know that 5% of this population, so population is 7,500, so 5% of that, 0 0.05 of 7,500. So this turned out to be 375 and we know that so 300 is definitely less than uh, 375 so it means that this assumption or condition is true and second we have to check that there's n times p times 1 minus p is greater or equal to 10 so in this case n is 300 and p is 0 0.05 times 1 minus 0 0.05 and this would turn out to be 14.25 so which is uh, definitely greater than a 10 so this condition is true too so with these two conditions are true so it means that uh, the sampling distribution is approximately normal. So now we can use that normal distribution uh, to answer the question, this one. So we would be using our calculator, TI-84, and uh, then answer this question so let me bring it, bring in the calculator and plug in these values and answer the question all right 
so so let's plug in these values here so second and uh, distribution and go to normal CDF number two and now here lower limit is 10 out of 300 so plug in this so 10 uh, divided by 300 and upper limit is 20 that's right? 20 out of 300 then a mean so mean is uh, 0 0.05 and then standard deviation is uh, 0 0.01258 right so and then paste uh, and highlight paste and press enter enter again and that's your answer 0.8147 so this answer would be 0 0.8147 it's approximately like this one